Hey everyone, today's video was inspired by this comment. Can you make water stay on a ball like Earth? Let's find out. So I'll start by making a sphere and I just was to add a bit of texture to uh, maybe capture some of the water and get a cool look. So I added the domain and another sphere to act as my inflow object. I'll just edit a few settings for that. I'm also going to add a negative force field to the planet sphere to act as gravity. So I think we're ready to bake the first simulation. Um, so it's still if using gravity. Uh, huh. I think it'd be best to uh, try a different method. So starting over, I'm going to re-add a sphere and uh, apply some texture to it like we did the last one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger this time so it's more um, grabby, I guess I'd say. And I'm going to try and use a particle system this time. So I'm going to make a plane and I just want to shape it so it kind of, you know, spreads some particles like rain sort of on the planet. And uh, now to the particles. So I want uh, quite a lot of particles um, just to kind of fill out the planet. And I want them to make sure and be alive for the entire uh, frame range, which is about 200 frames for me. I unchecked even distribution just because uh, we don't really need it. I'll add a bit of random velocity and select the fluid behavior type in the physics section. On to how it should be rendered, I'm turning off emitter and I'll just create a really, really low poly and small icosphere to be our particles of water. I'll uh, bump their size up a little bit and take a look at the simulation. Yeah, let's turn off scene gravity so that they'll just kind of fly out in the direction that they're emitted. That's looking good. Now let's go onto the planet sphere and add that negative force field. I thought harmonics might do what I wanted, but I think a negative force is best. Let's select particle collision so that our particles can uh, bounce off the sphere and hopefully settle into pools. Okay, let's uh, get into the particle settings now that we actually have our particles set up. I'm changing a lot of like density and viscosity settings just so that they all kind of uh, hang together a little bit, all the particles. I think I want a few more particles and I want them to just kind of dump on instead of uh, continuously rain on. Now let's give the particles a kind of ocean blue material uh, just so we can see them a bit easier. So I know I'm not really going into any detail of what I'm doing but I'm just trying to get the particles to act in a way that kind of lets us see how they're interacting with the planet's gravity. Yeah, so those settings look pretty nice. Maybe a few more particles and let's bake it. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just quickly set up the camera animation and uh, render this out for you guys. Now I do want to quickly set up the material for the water and the earth just so it looks good. And here's the final animation. So what we learned today was that fluid doesn't really work with force fields. Um, particles do and they make a unique result and it's kind of interesting. What came out wasn't exactly like what the comment I think was supposed to create. And I couldn't really figure out how to get the fluid simulator to accept force fields. So, yeah.